Electric battery technology has come on in leaps and bounds recently, but we're still a long way off uh, some of the original ideas that we'll all be walking around with small batteries to take us wherever we want by whichever mode of transport. John Mayer joins us now from SP Angel, who's uh, been talking to a lot of people in the business now that are undertaking this new research, which enables us uh, potentially to go further on a quicker charge of, of battery. Um, and there's some latest technology, which interestingly has come from the UK. Uh, what are you hearing? Well, we've been talking to a lot of materials producers who are uh, helping to, to manufacture better anodes, better cathodes, better components to go into these batteries. And that's naturally brought us into talking to some of the battery manufacturers. And we came across recently a very exciting UK business that is manufacturing high density, high capacity uh, lithium batteries for the aircraft industry. So these things will go into drones, short haul aircraft, small light aircraft, and probably into larger passenger turboprop aircraft, again, for short, for shortish distances, but this should make them very efficient and importantly reduce the pollution because airports are very polluted places. Yeah, you brought along a, a battery, I believe this is full of pure lithium, or in fact the end result will be when they bring out the full product. This, this is a very safe battery, so we're told. You could put a nail through this or, a, or even a bullet through it. The fact that they've put a bullet through it suggests that they are looking at military applications as well as civilian applications. Um, but it's, it's a very high density battery. It is safe enough to, go, to be fitted to the wings of an aircraft for, to keep it cool, for example. Um, but the important thing is it's it's light compared to the power that it can produce. So you bolt a bunch of these together in a stack. In fact, you'll have at least two stacks because if, one, if something fails on one side, you've got enough power to, to land. In fact, you need very little power to land. It should reduce the weight of the aircraft. You don't have to have heavy engines in there anymore. Uh, and of course, the efficiency of the aircraft should improve enormously, not to mention the, the, side, the side effect of, of being zero pollution. So, and very quiet too. These, the electric motors, which are also becoming more and more efficient, the new Siemens electric motors, I think, were 20% more efficient than the old ones. So gains in air, almost every aspect of what we're looking at, meaning that electric flight, electric taxis should become a, a real possibility very soon. I think they're already licensed in Dubai. I can see them coming over here relatively quickly, maybe not in central London, but probably elsewhere. Uh, so, so this is coming at us quite fast. And of course the big question is about cost. It might be more efficient and, and easier to charge and, and lighter, uh, but the cost of production, you haven't mentioned cars yet. Is that something that we've got to consider for these or is the, are they just too expensive? Well, if you put this into your electric vehicle it would go a lot faster than, than it would under a normal set of, of lithium-ion batteries. Uh, and a lot further, but the cost is pretty big. So at the moment, the cost is such that everyone's just looking at, at aircraft. So uh, Airbus, Boeing, Siemens, a whole bunch of, of industrial uh, manufacturers are looking at the, and testing these batteries. And, and the feedback sounds like it's very good. Uh, and such that we, we will be looking to raise money for this company alongside um, or to supplement the money going in from industry as well. So it's pretty interesting. When will we know more about the company, which at the moment I know is under wraps, when will we know more about this company and, and its prospects? Uh, we'll talk more openly about it as, as it, it looks to, to come through. I mean, it's not going to list in the stock market for some time, but there are opportunities to finance these things more privately. Mm. Uh, and why is uh, Tesla and, and Panasonic and some of the other big battery manufacturers not pursuing this particular line, or are they doing so but we just haven't heard about it? They're, they are definitely working on improving their own batteries, there's no doubt about that. It's just that these guys are ahead of the game in terms of power density and, and weight. Uh, Tesla are still working on cylindrical batteries. They're a bigger version of the 18650s that we used to, the, the lithium batteries that you put in your torches. They're good because they, they manage uh, the heat very well. You know, the, so, for example, the large pouch batteries ha, ha, do struggle a bit with heat management. Uh, and I won't name names, but some of the auto manufacturers have had problems with their pouch batteries. Uh, I think they'll get over those. I actually think there's going to be very significant gains in the battery packs for electric vehicles going forwards. Those gains will combine with improvements in 
in the motors and the, the electronic management systems that go into those vehicles. In fact, Toyota very generously said that they would open source their drivetrain, electronic drivetrain system. So that was good for the rest of the world. And, and I think what will happen is there'll be this, this it, it jump up in, in performance for electric vehicles, but also in, in consumer confidence, and then the market will, will take off. Because I think at the moment, the markets are slightly stalling for electric vehicle sales. But that's really driven by the reduction of uh, subsidies by China, uh, China and the US and the UK as well. Mm. One other thing, you said that's packed with lithium. Um, are there any other battery metals involved in that? We do hear you talk a lot about the other battery metals involved, like lithium and copper and cobalt and so forth and, and uh, vanadium. Well, we don't know exactly the, what, uh, we don't know everything that's in here, but we do. There, there's nickel, there's aluminium, uh, there's carbon, there's lithium. Um, there'll be a few other things yeah. in there that, that uh, maybe so. we shouldn't talk about right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John, look, we'll leave it there, but thanks indeed uh, for joining us with this uh, look into the future of uh, battery metals, and of course the technology uh, continues to make great strides. That's John Mayer from SP Angel.